Hello, this is Fermi Murray 7, and if you're playing Fable or Fable Anniversary, and you've tried to get into the cellar doors in Bowerstone, um, and it's locked and you can't figure out how to get in, I'm actually going to explain that in this video. Now, it actually starts at the lookout point, at this statue. Now, the first time you see this statue, you'll probably wonder what's going on with it. But uh, the statue actually points to things, and if you look at very closely at it, you can see that the statue is spinning very, very slowly. The statue is spinning. And the statue can actually point at two different locations. I'm going to explain both of those locations in this video, and I'm going to tell you what happens when the statue points to them. Now, one of the things the statue can point to is the statue can point to Bowerstone. Now, it's only going to point to Bowerstone during about this time during the night. About uh, about the middle of the night, a little bit before midnight, um, <clears throat> the statue will point to Bowerstone. So, this, so as soon as the statue says that it's pointing to Bowerstone, run down and go into Bowerstone. Now, this only works if you enter Bowerstone at the time when the statue says that the statue is pointing to Bowerstone. If the statue is not pointing to Bowerstone, it won't work. So, once you get into Bowerstone, if you look on your minimap, the tavern is actually the green building on your minimap. Right click the, le the right thumbstick if you, if you can't see your minimap. Right click the thumbstick and the green building, go around to the back of the tavern and just click on the cellar door. Now if you did it correctly, you'll be able to go in. Uh, if you didn't go, if you didn't enter Bowerstone at the right time, you'll you'll have to wait till the next day because you need to wait for the statue to point to Bowerstone in order for it to work. And uh, you can once you're in the once you're in the cellar, you can loot, you can take whatever items you want. It will not it will not count against you as stealing. It will not be considered stealing, so you do not have to sacrifice any of your morality. You can just take whatever you want, and it'll be okay. Now the second thing that the statue can point to is a uh, uh, great wood. So uh, it'll happen about midday. Uh, the statue will point to great wood. Uh, look on the mini map up on the screen there. That's about the time that it, the statue will point to great wood. About midday. About midday. A little bit before midday. So uh, as soon as the statue says the statue is pointing to great wood, go into great wood as fast as you can. Uh, and then, uh, right in when you get into Greywood, um, you'll have to turn left immediately, and, um, uh, uh, there may be, and, and you'll be able to see the chest. Yeah, you may have to kill some of those enemies to make it easier so that you can loot the treasure chest. And then once you're done, you can just go over and uh, loot the treasure chest. Remember that treasure chest will only appear there if you uh, go to the statue when the statue... If you, if you go to Greatwood when the statue says that it's pointing to Greatwood. Also, uh, you will not be able to dig in the, anything in that spot. There's nothing in that area to dig, so you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you watch my other uh, Fable videos. I have Demon's uh, Door videos. I have other uh, types of secrets and glitches and <laughs> all the types of stuff on Fable. So thank you very much for watching.